Let's look at part B of question 9. It says the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows a circle with center O. Okay. The point is A, B, and C. A, B, A, B, C, and M. A, B, C, and M. On the circumference, the straight line C N C N is a tangent to the circle at the point C and is perpendicular to B N. Perpendicular to B N. Okay, so all of those are shown symbolically here. Determine giving reasons for your answer. A B C. Angle A B C. All right, let's look at that. Angle A B C. Now, as for which angle that is, uh, A B C. That's this angle here. All right. Now, notice. A B is a diameter because it runs through the center and when you have an angle formed on the diameter the, uh, it, at the circumference the angle lies on the diameter I mean when you have an angle that lies on the diameter and is subtended at the circumference that angle is always at the circumference is always 90 degrees so this is a 90 degree angle so we can find out what this is so here you have a total of 180 degrees inside the circle so 58 plus 90 plus ABC is 180 90 and 58 is what? 148 so 148 plus ABC is 180 so ABC, the angle ABC is 180 minus 148 180 minus 148 uh, so that goes 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 so ABC so that's 32 degrees so I get 32 degrees for angle ABC <coughs> now after that CMB angle CMB B. What could that angle be? C M B. Let's see. We have right angle here. All right. Oh, look at this. CB yeah. right that's a card to the circle on the card CB lies this angle at the circumference in this segment and also this angle CMB at the circumference in the alternate segment now the thing is when you have a case like this one example just to remember is if you have a diameter this angle is 90 this angle would be 90 both of them add up to give you 180 if you slide the card down this angle up here you're getting smaller approaching zero this angle down here is getting wider approaching 180 
so they as always add up to 180 degrees all right so in this case what you have is that angle CAB and angle CMB lie on chord BC in alternate segments so the sum must be 180 degrees so 58 plus CMB is equal to 180 degrees so CMB would be 180 minus 58 all right so 180 minus 58 you can use a calculator all right 180 minus 58 if you drop 50 from 180 you get what 130 i'm just subtracting 50 from each minus 50 I get and I minus 50 here I get 8 130 minus 8 that is 1 what 22 so it seems like this is 122 degrees so CMB is 122 degrees all right so that's 180 minus 58 will give 122 degrees all right now c n c m where is that uh angle n c m okay so they want this angle now Angle NCM. How does that go? NCM. <coughs> well, guess what? I'm seeing something. You see, this is 122. If you should go all the way here, you get 180. It's a straight line so this angle right inside here would be 180 minus 122 All right 180 minus 122 so I say this is what 8 7 minus 2 is 5 get 58 so this angle right inside here is 58 degrees because notice if I redraw this triangle I get something looking somewhat like this with the 90 degrees here you see that and this is 58 so the 58 would be right here and then this angle now is like this now you know that they add up all three add up to 180 degrees so 58 plus the 90 here plus NCM is 180 if I subtract 90 from both sides get 58 plus NCM equal 90 then NCM would be 90 minus 58 90 minus 58 all right so one from then I get 8 10 8 minus 10 minus 8 that's 2 5 6 7 8 that's 30 so it's 32 32 degrees right here is 32 degrees okay so that seems 
like it for that part of the question for now.